guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I'm thrilled to bring you this recipe because it's one of my childhood favorites and it's so easy and simple to make and if you have live or in an Italian household or if you are Italian then you know what a ricotta fritter is and they're just delicious and they're super easy. So besides ricotta you might already have everything else on hand. So you'll need two cups of fresh ricotta, the recipe will be on laurainthekitchen.com, really good quality parmigiano, eggs, heavy cream, a mixture of fresh chopped basil and parsley, a little bit of additional, a little bit of flour, salt and pepper and vegetable oil. That's it. So, I know this isn't exactly a figure friendly recipe, but fall is just about here. No more bathing suit season for me, so I can enjoy things that are a little bit more naughty. Anyways, let's go right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ricotta with my eggs and my heavy cream, and I'm just going to kind of give that a nice little whisk just to kind of loosen up the ricotta a little bit and you want to make sure that you use fresh ricotta or at least a good quality you know store-bought ricotta because it does make a difference because if it's too watery you're not going to end up with the right consistency. So just give that a good whisk. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to grate in some parmigiano. Now I brought this piece of parmigiano back from Italy. You can see it's got the really thick rind, it's got the stamp on it so you know it's really good stuff. So when I say put in a good amount of parmigiano, I mean it. Don't let me find you, you adding a little teeny tiny bit little, you know, with a little tiny thing in here. I want you to really go for it. That looks good. Season this well with some black pepper. My life has been changed since I changed the setting on, this, on the, my black pepper grinder. So now it's got real chunks of black pepper in it. Mm. Salt, I know the cheese is salty, parmigiano is salty, but you still want to make sure you add enough flavor in there. Your herbs and your flour. You need to add all of it. And then just incorporate it all in. That looks great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up some vegetable oil in a skillet. You want to just put enough vegetable oil in whatever skillet you're using that comes up about an eighth of an inch up the sides. Um, you, don't, you don't need it to be halfway up because you're not deep deep frying, you're shallow frying, but you still want enough oil that it's going to get a really good sizzle, a really good crust and really good flavor. So I'm going to let that go until it's nice and hot and then we'll be ready to cook them up. Awesome. Now just let my oil get nice and hot, around 375 degrees or so. And I'm just using a quarter cup measuring device, a little measuring cup, so that they are all kind of the same size. Plopping them right in there, you're going to have to do this in batches. I did use a little bit more oil than I should have, but that's perfectly fine. It isn't going to hurt a thing. Just let those cook for about two and a half minutes or so on each side. In the meantime, I'm going to get a paper towel lined plate ready for these bad boys. Clean up because I want to always make sure to keep things nice and tidy. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. My Fritos cooked for about two and a half minutes on one side and about two and a half minutes on the other. Now, you can make them really, really dark if you want to. Like I love, like you know, I love all my fried food. I like it really, really dark brown and crispy, but you can make them a little bit lighter if you wanted to. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for this one right here. Look at that. <laughs> Why must you be so good? Mm. You know how some things have your childhood written all over them? Some things that are just so not fancy whatsoever? This is one of them. It doesn't get any easier than this. I know it's indulging. I totally agree. That's why one will do the trick. It's sweet, it's sweet, it's indulging, it's salty, it's cheesy, so therefore because of that, one will be perfectly enough, unless you're me, otherwise, because you know I'm going to go back for a second. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, hop on all over to LaraInTheKitchen.com to get the written recipe. 